Hey everyone, uh, this is Tonester here. I just wanted to show a replay that I had on in the WZ120 on uh, Pro Karafka. And um, it doesn't show it, but in the chat, I'm just telling the light tank not to go uh, F1 because that's where he was planning on going. He's in a bulldog, and, and I know that's not going to work. But anyway, uh, I, this is a stock tank. It, um, I think I have the upgraded turret, but and the upgraded tracks but i don't have either of the engines or uh either of the guns it's like 59,000 xp for each gun so um i have a 250 alpha 100 millimeter 189 pin and a tier 9 is not great but the turret is nice in this thing so and it doesn't have much gun depression but uh the gun handling is much much better on this than it is on the bigger derpier guns so Let's go ahead and get started, and I'll kind of talk through my thought processes um, on the thing. Um, so I haven't played a lot of it because, uh, uh, quite honestly, I um, am not looking forward to this big long grind. But I'm on a two times, so I figure I better at least play it. I played one game earlier, and it was a disaster just because. 250 alpha trading with 390 guns all the time is is uh, not a good thing it's it can be really frustrating so and 189 pin is awful but in this matchup that's actually fine It'd be nice to have the top engines just just so I could uh, motor around a little better but the mobility as you can tell isn't terrible so so I'm telling the light tank to watch how I spot because I can tell by the way where he was going um, or planning on going, uh, that he, uh, does, is not very good at scouting, and so, and I missed this 1375, I don't know how many times, but, but as you can see, our 1390's already down to, down a 64%, so he's probably down to, I don't know, 700 times already. And Artie hits me. That was my own fault. I was sitting in the same place for too long. But I just repair, and then I tell people where Artie is. Hopefully we can get counter Artie, maybe. But in the meantime, I'm going to relocate across the map because that helps. Uh, Artie has to move their gun a lot if I'm going across their gun. So... Um, so just typical play. I mean, I'm I'm not doing much. I just I know that there's probably somebody up in the bush in F1 because uh, if they weren't, then I wouldn't be getting lit there. So I'm trying to go up and spot that is what I'm trying to do. But this 1375 is being a pain in the rear. I mean, he's coming up over and over again, which good for him. He played quite a good game in my opinion. So you're looking at the hill, and uh, there's quite a bit hill for them, and there's quite a bit hill for us. And I see the WZ, our top tier heavy, is in a just an untenable position, quite honestly. And the only scout that's really doing a lot is our 1390. Our RU is staying way too low. And I happen to get a light on the Jag Panther. I don't know how I was the one that let him, but uh, apparently bad crew in that 1390. So, so we've got uh, three guys lit, and I'm happy with that. I mean, normally I should be a big damage dealer, but because I've got the small gun, it makes it really tough to do a lot of damage quick. So, I believe the top gun on this has 440 alpha, but it's rather derpy. And as you can see, I don't have hardly any gun depression, so... So I keep missing this guy. But right now I'm thinking um, things are going okay. They've got a lot on the hill, but we have a fair amount on the hill. Uh, the only bad thing is, looks like we've... Where's our WZ? Maybe he's... Oh, he's in the back. <laughs> so... And there, finally, that RU decides he's going to take a swing at me, and he pays the price for it. 
so I wish I could get more gun depression, but I can't get the gun depression to, to shoot this light tank, and as it turns out, our light is able to take them out. So that's, that's one of their lights out of the game. Another one seriously damaged. So, and the other one I haven't seen in a long time. So I'm assuming he's probably low health. Trying to feather a shot in on the T-29, that's a very low percentage, but... So I don't even fire, because I don't really want to get lit from the other side, but I do want to light these guys that are over... over in the one line, because there seems to be a lot of them. So... And they're 1375. I don't know how he does not light me here, quite honestly. I do have a good crew in this, because it's... Um, because I have an STA too, so um, so I do have a decent crew. Is it STA? I don't know. I've got a premium tank that goes with this, and I've ran all the the light line up to the point where I could do the skip all the mediums up to this point. So so we're just. Back and forth, back and forth, you know. I just am trying to make myself a hard target for Artie, and we've lost the hill now. And so I know I've got to be a little more aggressive. But I want to get shots on these guys as they come in, so... So now I'm not exactly sure what to do. When they cross the tracks, I guess I'll probably try and get shots on that T-10 that's crossing the tracks. But right now I'm just trying to get get a feather shot into the T-29. I mean, it's 5 to 9 now and it's not looking good. So I do kind of get an outline, but I'm not able to pin that. T20 or T10, but of course I take an RD shot because I sat in one place too long. That's my own fault. So I'm wondering if they're creeping one line because, and indeed they are. I mean, it's just logical that they would try and squeeze us from both sides, in my opinion. So we're up to 2,500 spotting, and it doesn't look like a great game, but we've got 1,700 damage, so uh, make that 1,900 damage. So things are going okay. There's two guys over there next to our flag, so I'm pretty sure this 4202 is ISO'd. And I just ram him because I want to finish him off before I take another hit. So, I'll take 100 damage versus 240. So now at this point I'm thinking I want to go after Artie. Because they're, they are the major threat right now. If we could take out both their Arties, then um, we know that the T-54 is a one-shot. And the Tiger is just a bottom-tier tank, so I'm not too worried about him. I do run food on this, uh, and the reason is I need to get the view range up, and obviously in this battle it's helped. I've gotten, uh, I want to finish him off, and then I, I probably should have ducked down or at least faced him, but I, but I didn't face the T-29, or the T-54, and, um, uh, my tracks do eat his shot, so that's good. So at this point, I know um, that the T-54 is a one-shot, and I'm just trying to get in a position where maybe I can sneak a shot off without fear of retribution. And, uh, of course, enemy arty, as enemy arty will be, drowns himself. I mean, I don't know. There ought to be more punishment for that, in my opinion. But that's basically the end of the game. It doesn't look like a stellar game, and it's really not. So people must not do super good in this thing. Um, but 
then again it is uh, 5700 combined so I can't wait till I get the top engines and the top guns on this thing but I don't really <laughs> want to go through the trouble of uh, grinding it because it's such a grind so I'm trying to save up some free XP for it so so anyways uh, hope you enjoyed that I haven't featured this on the channel before it does have kind of a soft hole and it has absolutely no gun to press well five degrees I guess so I'm not used to that I'm I'm an American tank player so uh, but I am getting used to it with my t 343 so I do have a good crew in it because I've got the t 343 so uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time